Hello and welcome to Black Closet. I am RMP792 and I'm doing another Hanako game. Well, technically it's a Hanako Games game, but you know exactly what I meant. So, why am I doing this particular one? Um, mostly it's been on the review docket for a while. Um, yeah, I, I put it on my Steam wishlist a little while ago because it's a Hanako game and I've covered a few of those in the past and they've been generally good. Um, so I figured, what the hey, let's give this one a shot. Uh, it's recommended by a couple of Steam curators I also follow, which is, is always a good recommendation. So, yeah, we will see. Don't know too much about it going in. I'm assuming it's probably, you know, if you look in the options, there's no list for voice actors. So I'm assuming this is going to be one of those times where I'm going to have to voice everybody. So it's a good job that my con flu from last week has basically sorted itself out. I mean, I'm going to keep this, you know going to pour myself a glass of water now because my throat will probably need good lubrication, but uh, that is how it is. So, usual spiel, if you've not seen my channel before, uh, I record all my Let's Play footage a week in advance. It's currently Monday the... Uh, yeah, just tell me the date. Pesky phone. It's currently Monday the... Oh, who cares? It's Monday the something of April. <laughs> That hard to, there we go. Monday the 4th of April. I knew it was something like that. Um, so if you're giving me advice on the best way to play a game, the odds are I probably finished it by the time you, I see your comment. With that said, I do read every comment and I am trying to respond to more of them, so please do leave comments. They're always interesting to see. But I will warn you in advance, my brain is kind of weird and rambly at times, and the odds of me remembering what I've said from one minute to the next are pretty low let alone remembering what I said a week to the next. So as a result, if you're responding to anything specific I say, and I will ask a lot of rhetorical questions and that kind of thing, uh, if you could timestamp the point in the video you're referring to in your comment, that would be very helpful for me. Um, anything else? I do have a Patreon, that's patreon.com slash rmp792, link is in the description, and if you wish to support me, that would be very much appreciated. There's lots of little rewards and perks you can get, and in case anybody's forgotten, what I need to get around to actually adding that to the Patreon. Once we get up to, let's call it, I haven't decided if it's going to be 100 or 150, but once we get up to a reasonable amount per month, I'm actually going to torture myself and do a whole month of Sakura games. Because what the hey I could do with torturing myself sometimes. Yay for masochism. So... Um, the other reason I'm doing Black Closet is that I'm assuming it's probably not going to be hideously long. And frankly, this week I've got stuff going on that I'm afraid takes priority. So I'm, I'm going to be sneaking recording sessions in whenever the hell I can. So, yeah, there's that. Um, do I really want to explain the stuff that takes priority? I probably should. Um short version if you've been watching this channel for a while you know that my granddad was in hospital a little while ago and then he came out and, and he's been back and forth to A&E a few times unfortunately he had a bit of a fall on Sunday um, he's basically okay you know he's a bit, bit scratched up and things like that but it's made us you know even more sort of worried about him frankly so you know he's, he's got a doctor's appointment later today for something completely unrelated that I'm, I'm going to be taking him to that whether he likes it or not and just it's generally we want to you know, we, we want to make sure that somebody's there to keep an eye on him. I mean, my gran is there, but again, they're, they're both well north of 80, so we, we think somebody could actually you know, manage to pick him up if he falls over again or anything like that would be a good idea. So, so yeah, so I'm going to be sneaking in recording sessions whenever the hell I can this week. Uh, plus, of course, we're coming up to the 100th episode of Let's Review. Yes, I've been doing this for that long, so... Uh, if you saw the 50th, you know that I put a lot of effort into that. I wasn't entirely happy with the end result, but uh, <laughs> there's, there's some interesting backstory to that. At some point, I should do a vlog just to explain some of the backstory to the 50th. But anyway, so yes, I have things planned for uh, the 100th, and th there's actually going to be some lead up to it, which I need to really need to get around to organizing. But anyway, that's, that's uh, not any kind of problem for you guys. So, on to the game itself. And again, I know very little about this. So. Welcome to your new office, Elsa. And congratulations. As student council president, everything here belongs to you. For now. Good lord. 
I think I've let's face it, most of the visual novels I've been playing recently have have you know had like four hundred uh, million lines of text and then a uh, one choice. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you. I'm afraid you may have little time to relax and enjoy it. The privileges of your position come with a great deal of responsibility. It is your duty to manage the student body and prevent scandals while maintaining their belief in your good nature. If you are too aggressive, then the karma of the student council will be damaged and your classmates will no longer obey you. And if you let them get away with everything, then the reputation of the school will be damaged. Uh, I look forward to a challenge. Cocky, aren't you? I hope your strength holds up to what's ahead. No nice words here, Elsa. This school is in peril. We have enemies who would like nothing more than to smash this ivory tower to rubble, and scandal is their greatest weapon. If St. Claudine's falls, every, gra every graduate, every board member, every good traditional family will be tarnished. The school board will do whatever they must to defend themselves. As student council president, you are their designated scapegoat. Your family background... You're not old power. You're a talented upstart, nothing more. And if disaster looms, you are the perfect sacrifice for the greater good. <laughs> so they'll expel me to save themselves. <laughs> oh, you will take the blame for every failure this school has ever faced. Unless you succeed. If you do, your jo if you do your job and defend the school, there will be no need for sacrifice. Fail as president and you will be expelled, unable to achieve your place in a decent university. Your future will be ruined before it even begins. But keep things running smoothly, and your time at St. Claudine's will be a benefit to your resume. Of course, you will have the rest of the student council to assist you. A commander never gets her own hands dirty. You will need to rely on the skills of your minions to handle the caseload and find the truth behind the rumours. Read your case files to determine targets, and set out assignments for your minions to take actions where they will match their skills against the skills of the target. Let's look at an example. First, click on Heather to select her as a target. Heather is a new target, so you haven't learned what her skills are yet. Her skills will be revealed when you take action against her. Let us question her. For example, I will be playing the part of your minion. Click on my card and, assign, and ask the question action, then click assign. Okay. Assigned actions are placed in your out tray. If you wish to cancel an assignment, you can click on its position in the out tray to clear the assignment. When you have made your assignments for the day, click done to begin the investigation. Okay. Total 214, bloody hell. Because she just has massive stats. Okay, so... Okay. Um, was there something you needed? You may now harass Heather. Charming. <laughs> Actions use different skills. You can see what skills will be compared by looking at the icons on the sides of buttons. Try choosing the harass action to press Heather a little harder. Alright, click her. Harass her, so for that we need this and this and she just yeah she's gonna bull rush her here without even trying so guaranteed 100% win and done so the dice roll is completely irrelevant there oh, I'm sorry we'll get off to class right away and scampers off If the skill of the minions you assign is not sufficient to conquer the target, you may get incomplete or misleading reports, and need to try again. Check your case log to review the clues you have gathered. For now, your final instructions. It is important that we are not disturbed. Assign some students to stand guard over this location. You can assign multiple minions to the same task. They will use the best available skill for each situation. In this case, Zanya's intimidation will combine with Bonita's observation. So click on the office, click on them both, click guard and assign. Okay.
And we succeeded. The students successfully stand guard over the office. Now, let us speak clearly. You are the leader here, but you are helpless without the skills of your minions. And that creates a weakness. A weakness which someone intends to exploit. One of your minions is a traitor. And how do you know that? Oh, intercepted communications, internal documents which are not for a student's eyes. Not even yours. One of them is working against you and will intentionally fail her assignments whenever possible, in hopes of causing scandal, bringing down the school. You must determine which of your minions cannot be trusted or she will destroy you. Spend time with them, socialize, and do whatever you must. Manage your karma, defend the school's reputation, identify the traitor, or else your career will come to a quick end. Good luck, Madam President. She leaves the office, your office, a symbol of your power and of the expeditious others have pl uh, That's a promising start. Your office, a symbol of your power and of the expectations others have placed upon you. Will you live up to those expectations or surprise them all? cheery game. <laughs> when you reach the student council office, Vone is already waiting for you. Is that how you pronounce it, do you think? Vonay? I'm gonna go with Vonay, because that sounds swankier. Ah, there you are, Elsa. Everything is in order. One of the chairs had a rip in the cushion, so I had maintenance swap it out. All of the filing slots are clean, and there's a fresh box of push pins in the bulletin board. Very good. Carry on. Hi, Captain. Why are you calling me Captain? You... you don't remember? Captain rolls off the tongue so much more easily than Madam President, don't you think? There's a sound at the door. That must be the other officers. Okay, I... I it's kind of over the top, but I love that design. Anyway. <clears throat> to tell Elsie that she has to... <clears throat> oh, you're already here. And what were you going to tell our President? Well, I don't mean to be rude, Vaughn, but Vanay, but all the things considered, it's not right that you are vice president when my big sister was so much more qualified. I don't want the job. You didn't want to be president, that's fine. But you deserve oh, yes. I am not interested. You're a natural leader. She has the personality of a secretary. Vanay was elected, end of story. Oh, fine. Be stuck in your dusty old ways. Youth will overcome, you will see. The door opens again. Um, hello. I is this the student council room? Uh, yes, this is the student council. Oh, good, I, I found the right place. I'm Mallory. I'm the hospitality officer. Oh, right. New girl. Be respectful to this young lady. It's your first year on the student council, too. Yes, but I've been at the school since kindergarten and she just started as a freshman. Well, I think it's lovely to see some new faces. Uh, thanks. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mallory. It's nice to meet you too. I look forward to working with all of you. Aren't we missing someone? What about Rowan? She's already here. Uh... Well, if we're all here, let's get started. <laughs> now that your minions are assembled, it is time to open your case folders and see what this week has in store. Okay, reminder, suspending or expelling a student is an executive action. You do not need to assign a minion to perform this task, however, it will still fill up a slot in your tray. So, Labor Day is on Friday. On Monday, rather. Okay. Let's begin the week. New case, number 001. A shipment of supplies has gone missing. A new set of shuttlecocks from badminton. If those supplies aren't found by September 12th, the special gym lesson will have to be cancelled. Kari, Lilith, Patricia and Jacqueline are in that class. Do they know anything? Okay, so... Well, let's start by inspecting the gym, so... Who's got a high inspection? You've got a pretty high... You're generally good. You've got a good inspection skill, so you're going to inspect the gym. 
because that seems worth doing to me. So assign that. Find items to give bonuses to future actions. That could be useful. Uh, okay, those two are both quite friendly. So let's question you takes those two things. So, so if we assign Mallory and Vone to it, or Vone, sorry, I, I keep meaning to say that. So, if gang up on her. Alright. And both gang up on you to question you, and again work together to get some decent stats in there. Okay. Inspected the gym. Aha, we succeeded. That's odd. There's a box here containing a set of watercolour paints. Doesn't this belong in the art room? You may now search the art studio. Okay, so they successfully question her. Jacqueline says, I'm sorry, I don't have any idea. Yeah, we've got some good stats there, so yep. Completely bull rushed her. Missing school supplies. Don't know. Don't care. No new information to report. Okay, so let's search the art studio. And you need the observation and yep. You are definitely you are the right person to send on a search job by the look of it, because it appears that it requires those two? Yeah. Yes, we're playing stealth and observation against... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so assign you. Uh, to question those two. So again, let's question these two. So, da -da 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 -da. Question and assign. And you question and assign. Okay. Search the art studio. Aha, succeed. Quietly search the art studio for clues. And you succeeded in search for clues. You find the missing supplies. Looks like they got delivered to the wrong route and council gains five karma. Mystery solved. Time plus four days. Karma plus five. Reputation. Gained five skill training points. Rowan has just come into my office carrying a large box. Delivery. Uh, what's in the box? She adjusts its position in her arms. One bag of organic gold Colombian coffee. One classic style French press, silver, monogrammed. One tea set, gold trim. Did you just read that off the packing label? Yes. Would you like a cup of coffee? Students aren't allowed coffee. Well, except you. Yes, but would you like one? I... Never mind then. Goodbye. I'm not going to force coffee on someone who doesn't want it. Right, so we've got some uh, time to kill now that we've solved that mystery. So, training room. Sign minions here to raise their skills. So... Do some training with... Urgh, who needs training? Now what's the red bar indicate, I wonder? Okay, I want to boost your observation skills, I think. Ah, it doesn't uh, tell you which specific one you boost, it just generally boosts. Let's cancel that. So can I send multiple people in? So you and... Who's got the weakest stats? Your stats are not great, so let's assign you both. Only one girl could train at a time. Alright. Supply closet. Find items. So, send you in. And let's send uh, you in, because why not? Nope, only one girl can get supplies, I assume. Oh no. Too many girls for the closet. Insert your own coming out the closet joke there. Skill training, so points remaining five, so... 
Observation's already pretty good, but I feel like it's probably best to get people who focus in specific things. So, you are probably going to be my chief intimidator, aren't you? So let's boost your intimidation another few points. We've gained a stethoscope. Rummage around in the supply closet and find a stethoscope. No new information to report. No skill points available, but we do have a stethoscope. Okay, so we can search the supply closet again, and I don't think it really matters who we send in, so... Send you. And we're done for today. An animal decoy. Any information to report? So yes, we solved that one very quickly and efficiently, so we've clearly got plenty of time to just you know, keep searching the supply closet and finding stuff. Let's give as many people as we can a chance to spend some time in the closet. And find a lemon, which does not look terribly good. On the weekend, you can visit your minions to shore up their loyalty. Okay, do I have to choose which ones I visit, or... Uh, or I'll rephrase that. Do I, Can I visit all of them, or do I only get to visit one at a time? So, I'm going to start with... Ah, let me guess. They get the red bar is stress, and that happens whenever they do something. Okay. That's fine. I'm, you know, I don't mind figuring this stuff out as I go. So... Who do I want to talk to first? Let's talk... Oh, screw it. I love her design. Oh, Helsa. What do you want? I've come to invite you to tea. Oh. Well, alright then. You lead the way to the office and hold the door open for Theus as she enters. So... What would you like to drink? Green tea. Would regular tea or coffee do? <laughs> Are we allowed coffee now? I thought that was against the rules. It's a presidential privilege. I suppose I may as well try a cup, if you're offering. You prepare the drinks and set out the gold room teacups. Okay. Now, of that list, I would always choose shortbread. What are these? What's the point of cookies if they're not even sweet? No, thank you. Thea sips delicately from her cup and settles it back in its saucer. So, was there something you wanted to talk to me about? Oops. This isn't about my sister, is it? Actually, I just wanted to talk about you. Oh, alright. What did you want to know? Hmm. Well, what are you planning to do after university? Well, that depends on what happens while I'm at university. You can't tell you yet. I've got some ideas, but... Well, I'm not going to be a ballerina or an actress, I'll tell you that much. Thea's twists her cup around on its saucer. So... I still don't understand why I'm here. What do you want from me? Do you want a makeover or something? Are you saying I need one? No. Um, no I just wanted to touch base with you. Or... Ah, screw it. No. Let's be friends. <laughs> with dolls and tea parties. I am not a toy. So what are you? I... What sort of question is that? Thanks for the tea. I'm leaving. Thea's loyalty is increased by five. Ah, so I can visit them. Excellent. That's fine. No, well, put it this way. I'm going to go through in the order that I kind of want to talk to them, just so that if it only lets you talk to, say, three, I don't get uh, screwed over without meaning to. Fair enough. Uh, Elsa, hi. Did you need something? Uh, I've come to invite you to tea. Oh, all right, thank you. Th that sounds lovely. Vonet follows you to your office, and looking back and forth as she enters. I wasn't sure if anyone else would be here. What would you like to drink? Really, I can take care of that. You should sit. I'll prepare the tea. You are my guest. And you are my captain. I am your subordinate. It's my job to make your life run smoothly so that you can focus on business without worrying about the details. And today isn't about business. I 
thoughts since we were here. My apologies. If this is an official business, then I defer to you as a hostess. Tea would be lovely, thank you. You prepare the drinks and set out the gold room teacups. Okay. I'm going to keep offering shortbread until somebody bloody likes it. Oh, I do like these, thank you. Vonay sips from her cup and smiles at you. So, here we are. It's nice to have a chance to sit and relax between crises. But there's something on your mind, isn't there? Is everything alright? Me? I is that what this is about? Do I seem unhappy to you? You look worried sometimes. No, you look lonely sometimes. Do I? Well, maybe I am, but I know where my duties lie. Vonay rests her fingers on the edge of the table. This is a strange tea party, isn't it? I suppose we should talk about hats, or hairdressing, or, or politics. All similarly frivolous. frivolous. Then what do you, what's your favourite colour? <laughs> Periwinkle blue. It's a pretty word, nice to say. Pretty flower, too. What about you? Why is black never an option? Seriously, black or red, that's what I would always pick. <sighs> Let's go with mahogany, it's at least... A bit like grey and mahogany are basically the two most boring colour options. But That's also a nice word, and a nice wood. She sets down her teacup. I really should go, I need to study. Thank you for your time, and the tea. Thank you for coming. Bonnet's loyalty increased by five. Okay, so we only got to talk to two. That's interesting to note. Reminder, a minion's loyalty score also serves as a stress maximum. Loyal minions can be assigned more tasks without needing to rest as often. Minions with low loyalty will refuse to work on holidays. You know what? Looking at my timer, that's probably a good point to end this first part. So I will say thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next.